challenges faced by small island developing states in gaining access to test kits and other supplies, no country should be left behind. And I would like to use this opportunity to appreciate the strong leadership by the Prime Minister of Barbados steering the response in the Caribbean. Today, I also spoke to the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, and the Prime Minister of Finland, Sana Marin, about continuing efforts across Europe to fight the pandemic and support lives and livelihoods. The commitment from both leaders, President van der Leyen and Pres Prime Minister of Finland, Marin, is very, very heartwarming again. I would like to clarify WHO's position on wet markets. Wet markets, as you know, are an important source of affordable food and livelihood for millions of people all over the world. But in many places, they have been poorly regulated and poorly maintained. WHO's position is that when these markets are allowed to reopen, it should only be on the condition that they conform to stringent food safety and hygiene standards. Governments must rigorously enforce bans on the sale and trade of wildlife for food. WHO has worked closely with the World Organization for Animal Health and the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, of the United Nations to develop guidance on the safe operation of markets. Because an estimated 70% of all new viruses come from animals, we also work together closely to understand and prevent pathogens crossing from animals to humans. Finally, WHO is committed to keeping the world informed in as many ways as possible, in as many languages as possible. Our Viber chatbot is now reaching 2.6 million people with reliable evidence-based information and is available in 16 languages. This week, we launched Tamil, Sinhala, Bulgarian, Greek, Italian, and Hungarian. And we plan to launch Polish and Bangla next week. I'm pleased to say that from Monday, we will be providing simultaneous interpretation for these press conferences in all official UN languages, Arabic, Chinese, French, Russian, and Spanish. And we, would, we were also planning to expand to include other languages like Swahili and Hindi. We look forward to having more journalists join us from all over the world. I thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tedros, indeed. Uh, 